makita ko may bilyon-bilyon ka, saan mo kinuha yung putang ina yan? Mayor ka lang, tapos may bilyon ka sa bangko. Kaya again, I'm warning everybody. Nandito sa ano, do not be offended because it is true. I will not be imposing on you with this narrative kung masasaktan kayo. Ang Batangas talaga is remains to be a red spot. Marami dito talagang gustong umaman. Well, of course, may yaman ka. You get all the the perks that life can offer, money, but it's, so it's going to be a short lived at least during my term. Oh, nag-warning na ako, so maybe in not so many incidents, malaman ninyo yan. And it's, it's stroke because you are in full drive. Do not shit me with the number. Nakikita ako kasi yung bangko ninyo. Kung makikita ako may bilyon-bilyon ka, saan mo kinuha yung putang ina yan? Mayor ka lang tapos may bilyon ka sa bangko. That's like in Bakulod. Marami lang namatay doon. Yung mayor ng mabilog, kasi may mayor mabilog, brother. Eh, alam mo, tinawag ko na yun. Alam mo ninyo, tinawag ko na lahat kayo. Lahat ng mayor. Sabi ko, huwag kayong pumasok dyan, putang ina, papatayin ko talaga kayo. Mabuti yan si mabilog. Eh, sabi niya, okay, bong, galit si mayor sa akin, bong. Sabi niya, bong, ikaw raw ang sunod. Putang ina. Gago, hindi na bumalik. No, ganito yan. Drug will destroy my country. I will not allow it. At least not during my term. Drugs will kill the youth of the land. Tsaka yung magtitake over, well, a, a good number of them would be alam mo, pag nabuang na sa droga, nabuang na talaga yan. Wala na. They are useless idiots. Might as well kill them. You just sit in a corner and they do not eat sa bagay. Kung hindi mo kuha itong animal na to, wala tayong uh, ano sa bigas. Wala tayong crisis sa bigas. Ang problema, kung ma-rehabilitate dyan, kaya malakas ng kumain, ng buang, magpataba. But uh, I said, uh, the success story of a rehab, getting back to normalcy, I'm telling you, I'm telling you frankly, it's very low. Mag-slide talaga yan. Karamihan yan mag-slide. And the family's broken. Alam, alam mo, pag ito ang asawa tinamaan, di ba putang ina yung human rights na yan? May human rights ba dito? Sakalin kita eh. Pag tinamaan ito, the family becomes dysfunctional. Babagsak na lang yan. Mag-aaway na ng asawa. Buti yan sa mga mayaman. Pero karamihan dito mahirap. Mag-alis. So what's the easiest way to get out of the morals that she is sin? She will leave the family bring the children to their relatives or neighbors, then she go to a recruitment agency, but patayin mo yung mapot. Pagkatapos, magtanggap ng trabaho. You know very well that most, hindi lahat, but Arabic, uh, Arabs, they practice, if you are a slave or a paid servant, rape is always part of the territory. Kaya makita mo, tumatalo na lang. Tumatalo na lang sa bintana. Kaya ganoon na lang sakit ng loob ko. Ngayon nung pinatay na binugbog. 
Walang Pilipina na matay dito na sabi na, na heart attack, hypertension. Pag uwi dito, yung katawan bugbog talaga. Parang aso. Parang aso na pinakahampat. The only way, hindi ko naman mapigilan. The only way really is uh, to improve this country. And I cannot improve this the standing of our economy if marami akong kalaban itong mga droga ang NPA and we cannot you know one administration after another ganun lang yan if you cannot kill all of these NPAs and kill all of these drug lords mahirapan tayong mag we are like a plane in the runway na, nasa runway lang O hindi tayo nagtitake off kailanman. No, they say that the economy is better. Uh, I don't claim any credit for that. But for me, it's still the same. As long as the Filipinos really are jobless and we cannot improve the country because the countryside is full of idiots who think that they can take over government. Kapag bubo naman ito mga NPA na to, putang ina, Gulo ng gulo. Hindi naman nila kaya take over this country. They cannot even occupy a barangay for 24 hours. Nabi ko sundalo, patayin mo na yan. Unang, walang silbi yan. Sige, surrender. Sige, surrender. Tapos bumalik. Which is better? Look, ito, ito, Pag na, look, there are so many families uh, rendered dysfunctional. Putang ina, paano na lang yan? How do we cope up with this? Patayin ko yung isang putang inang dead carcass dyan, tapos uh, itong bleeding heart ng human rights. Hindi nga nila alam, criminal itong mga putang ina. Itong pinatay. Itong rape. You know, uh, let me go that... Uh, you are here. Tung, uh, ano, Ed, yung DSWD. You have to come up with the program dito sa, ano, the police and uh, yung rape ng mga bata, especially Quezon. There, there's a serial rape, uh, rape is there. Almost every day makikita mo may rape na pinatay. Patayin mo na lang yung putang ina, ganun rin eh. Eh, wag mong hulihin, damputin mo, tapos wag mong hulihin sa maraming tao, damputin mo, patayin mo. Putang ina itong mga to. They say, makita mo si Quezon, in, on TV, yung rape tapos patayin, almost a good number of uh, these incidents happened in uh, Quezon. So, pakitawag lang yung provincial, ano doon, no, pati yung, ano mo, uh, come up with a surveillance system of uh, government workers na uh, just, they have to go around. And itong, I hate profiling. I do not like it. But we are forced to do it. Malaman mo, itong mga walang ginagawa, pasal-pasal, tapos mag-rape. 